Spirituality and Sports, we're here today with Coach Gene Stallings. Coach, best pure athlete you ever coached against? I never did pay attention to him. I just knew the numbers and knew what position, but I didn't really worry about the other team. I worried about my team. If you get to worrying about the other team and where you're playing and what time you're playing, uh, you're fooling yourself. You better worry about getting your team ready to play. I'm a, you either a scheme coach or a technique coach. I wanted to win games because my players played better than your players, not because my scheme was better than your scheme. Now we're running 190 plays a game. We're trying to get a scheme going. We got the wrong personnel and he hits a, that just wasn't my style. There's nothing wrong with that. I wanted to just line up and beat you because my players played better than your players. At the end of the game, we'd win. The question for today's society, a great many people are asking why? Why, why, why bother with being a part of a congregation of faith? Why, why bother with, with God? There's, we live in a, in a country, we're blessed, most of us live here in the United States, that, that the plenty that we have, we don't, most of us aren't going to bed hungry. We're, what would you say to a person who says, why should I bother with God? Because one of these days you're going to die, and you're going to go somewhere, and you don't live good just to go to heaven, not go to hell. But uh, there's a greater being, and all you got to do is look at the Bible, look around, look at things that grow in the spring and die in the winter, and they come back and they replenish, and somebody made it. It didn't just happen. And so we've got a, a, got a, a, a father that overlooks and made it, but he gives us a choice. He said, you can live the way you're supposed to, spend eternity in heaven with me, or just do whatever you want to do and spend eternity somewhere else. That's not faith. I think that's just common sense, to tell you the truth. Final question, coaches. How many of the Junction boys are, are left now? Do you know? I, I couldn't find any information. It's been 1954. Yeah, I would so. say 25, 23. I've got a football that's signed by every junction player, probably the only one in existence. I'm going to give it to the athletic department uh, at A&M, but it's signed by all of them, and it's, it's one of my treasures, really. Tell us a little bit about that. I know there's been specials, and you've probably done interviews ad nauseum about that. But well, the thing that made junction so bad was the facilities. It was sporting. I mean, we lived in a Quonset hut. It was hot. It was the middle of a drought. Uh, people couldn't make the lines shorter and shorter and shorter. And, and anyway, <laughs> one of my favorite stories about Junction, we'd, we would just be down to nothing. This was Saturday night, and Coach Bryant came in the meeting room, and it was just about 30 of us, and he said, tomorrow's Sunday. I mean, you guys like to go to church tomorrow, and I threw my hand up. He sent a manager around. I, I said, Troy, get me. I go to church. And he said, Bees, I'll get you. And, and wrote down there by his name, handed it to Coach Bryant. Coach Bryant looked at that list, and he said, isn't this nice? Everybody want to go to church? We're going to go right after we practice. I <laughs> 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 wouldn't know that when any of us ordered. <laughs> now, did, did he end up taking you right yeah, after we, Yeah, he had the list, and we made this. Everybody went but one guy and his wife was expecting a child and he, he wanted to sit around the telephone, but uh, he's the only one to have regrets because I went look down to, we went to the First Baptist Church there in, in Junction, Texas, and there was about 12 or 13 of us and everyone was sound asleep. Yeah. <laughs> did he even give you time to clean up or did you just... I, yeah, we, we you all cleaned practiced up. and took a shower and then we got on the bus and went into town. Drove by the various churches. And another f f not funny thing, but uh, we get all this publicity about Junction. We go by College Station and we play the first game against Texas Tech and get beat 41 to 9. Well, Monday we go to the practice area and the manager says, put on your game gear. We're going to practice on Kyle Field. We didn't practice on Kyle Field, you played on Kyle Field. And you practice in practice gear. Coach Bryant said, put your game gear on. Well, we all went out together. 
And, then, and there's Coach Brown out in the middle of the field. I see him there singing, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Oh, man. <laughs> this going to be a bad day. And I'll tell you, Junction was a picnic compared to that practice. We didn't get beat for it. It wasn't nine 